How's it going? It's Sean Bradshaw from CyberFret.com, and in this lesson, we're going to take a look at a slap guitar groove. It's actually a slap kind of bass groove applied to the guitar. So let's take a look at some of the basic kind of slap and pop techniques that I was doing, and then get into the groove. Now, slapping is definitely easier on a bass with thicker strings, um, but you can do the technique on a guitar, as I just played there. And so the basic idea of the slap is what we're going to do is take your thumb, and I'm going to take the open six string right now. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of hit the string. The idea is that I'm kind of pivoting my forearm like this, but there's really a kind of a snap at the end. You kind of think of it like a flick at the end. I don't just go like this. I'm not getting much sound. I'm getting in and out. I, I hit the string with my thumb, and I'm really kind of aiming for this knuckle right here on my thumb. Now we're doing kind of slap stuff on the guitar. It's easiest just to focus the slapping on the sixth string. On bass, it's going to be much easier to kind of slap on other strings, but kind of a lot of times when we're doing applying kind of slap ideas to the guitar, the easiest place to start is that sixth string because um, the strings are much closer to each other than on the bass, and so kind of getting in there and slapping on, say, the fifth string will be a little bit more difficult. It can be done, but this particular groove only slaps on the sixth string. So that's the basic slap technique that we've got. The other technique that we have is a pop. And for the moment, what I want you to do is take your third finger, put it on the fifth string at the seventh fret, and we're going to take your index finger on your right hand and actually snap the string. All right. So you kind of get underneath and actually pull up and then let it back down to slap against the fretboard, snapping the string. And kind of the only other technique that we need for this particular slap guitar groove is a kind of percussive hit that comes from using just your left hand, where I just kind of go like this. So I'm, I don't want to, you know, press down on any frets, I kind of take my hand and just do that. Okay. Actually, I lied. There's one more. And that is where we do a go ghost note. That's referred to as a ghost note, but a kind of left hand hit ghost note. And the other one is where we're, we're touching the string, but actually slapping it and get a ghost note sound. So let's kind of take a look at the whole groove and kind of break it down section by section. And so what happens is that you'll see um, any, any note that you don't see anything written above, that's going to be a slap. If you see a P written above, that's going to be a pop. And then if you see LH, that's a left hand hit where you're going to be doing this. All right. And then if you see uh, just an X and nothing written above, that's going to be a slap, but it's going to be that, that ghost note. All right, so we're going to start off with a um, hammer-on. We're going to pop the fifth fret on the fifth string, hammer-on to the seventh fret of the fifth string, and then slap the open uh, sixth string. So. All right, and then... After that, I'm going to hit left hand hit, slap, left hand hit, and then just a ghost note where I'm touching but slapping. So that, just playing that much, it's going to sound like this. And then... We kind of start out doing the same thing. We're going to do a um, hammer on again with a pop, slap the open sixth string, left hand hit, and then uh, that slap ghost note. So, kind of uh, 
that whole section up to that point. All right. And then we're going to go to the um, fourth string at the fifth fret, and I'm going to pop that, hammer on to the sixth fret, go to the fifth fret on the sixth string, slap that, and then hammer on to the uh, sixth string at the seventh fret. I hope I'm saying all these strings correctly because I'm, I'm kind of thinking bass. So hopefully I didn't say fourth string when I meant sixth string on some of those, but you've got the tablature there and watching me. And so uh, that's really what we're doing is we're taking, we're taking a bass slap groove and just applying it to the guitar. All right, so that whole first measure. The second measure, everything is the same except for the last uh, four notes. And what we're going to do is I'm going to, just looking at the last four notes, I have the fifth string at the second fret. I'm going to pop that, pull that off to the open fifth string, slap the third fret on the sixth string, and pull that off. So. So that second measure is All right, and we just play those two measures however long you want to groove. So have fun with your new slap bass riff applied to the guitar, slap guitar. Have a good one.